The breaker for these offices kept on tripping, so we're going to add another circuit. It is a Wednesday. We are in Fall River, Massachusetts today. As you can see, they got these little space heaters here. They got them turned up all the way, and they're plugged into the same receptacle as the office equipment, such as computers and other printers, and basically it's overloading the circuit, so we got to pull a brand new home run in. I'm going to be eliminating that piece of MC there. I'm going to take it out of this four square box, and then I'm going to bring my new circuit directly into that plug. As soon as I opened up the cover, I noticed that immediately that I got a multi-wire branch circuit. It's not on a two-pole breaker. I got to make sure I shut both legs off. Take a look at how poorly done these splices were. I cannot believe someone did splices like this. If you're doing splices like this, don't bother coming in. They're terrible. They're going to lead to poor connections and problems down the line. So I redid all those splices there. I made sure to label 12-3 black circuit number one. The red is circuit number three. I also found broken wire nuts up there, and I'm assuming that's from someone trying to tighten down the wire nut instead of just pre-twisting the wires. Right here is the 48277 volt panel and over to the right they have a transformer which is going to do the 208120 so we're going to come out of this panel right here. There was some spares in that panel so that worked out nicely. I got my new junction box made up. I made sure to label everything. Make sure that it's labeled dedicated home run. It's fed from panel B. I also pulled the 12-3 in here just in case they have another office that's going to have problems. I can just tap off of that box right there. We're going to bring the vacuum cleaner up there. We're going to vacuum the drop ceiling. I don't like to leave messes on top of drop ceiling tiles. It's not professional. We also have the plugs labeled circuit number 32. I'm going to dust off all the dust and sheetrock dust off the desk there. I also got everything nice and tie wrap coming into that panel there. And we made sure to label, you know, circuit number 32 in that panel. So if you're in Massachusetts or Rhode Island, give us a call. We're taking new clients and I personally answer every single phone call.